Hey guys, today we will learn how to set up Superbase Authentication and continue our date app series. This series will be continued and we will change our database for this app. I think you already heard this database and I wanted to show Superbase tutorials on my channel too. I still discover its power and I feel like Superbase has amazing features for our Flutter Flow projects. Superbase will help us to make complex applications easier, so I decided to make videos about it. By the way, we will also make apps with Firebase too, but in my personal projects, I started to use Superbase because it is nice to have a database like this and it made me feeling excited about future complex projects. Okay, let's start to set authentication system. We will start with creation a table. It is like collection on Firebase. I will name table as users. Now we will add column to our table. First column will be name. In Superbase we have similar data types and I am showing data types. If you want me to explain future of all data types, I can make a video about it. We will select text data type for name column. In extra option, we can decide it will be nullable or unique or a list array. Normally we were deciding these thing in Flutterflow, but with Superbase we decide database structure on Superbase and get schema from Superbase. For name, I will toggle off nullable option. Next, I will add email. I will choose text as data type and toggle off nullable option and toggle on is unique option. Because I want my users to have an email and this email must be unique for one user. I don't want users to have same email for multiple accounts. I will add phone number. I will choose Warchar because I want to keep users information in safe and encrypt. So I am going to add other options. For hobbies, I will toggle on define an array option because user can have more than one hobby and this option will make the column like list in Firebase. Now I will set id column. It data type will be uid. I don't want this column as an ascending list by number so we will choose uid. Default value will be can random. This will generate random id for users. Now we will link authenticate account record with this table. Schema will auth. Reference will be users. For auth users option will be id and you see what kind of options it has and these options made me excited about Superbase because it will provide us many good features for big complex apps. And last option provide us when users delete their accounts what should happen on database. I will choose cascade because this will delete all data about this user. Ok, let's save the table. Great, we have just created our first table. It looks good and find the data is easier than Firebase in my opinion. Now I will set provider section.
These two options will be toggle off, but in next videos we will play a little bit on this section. Ok, save it. Time to set configure superbase options on Flutterflow. Click settings and select authentication. Enable authentication. Choose superbase option. Now we will set superbase configuration on Flutterflow. Enable superbase. Go to superbase and select project settings. Click API section. Copy URL and paste it on Flutterflow. After that, copy Anon K and paste it on Flutterflow. Now let's get schema from Superbase. Ok, we can set actions and create an account. Click Action. We will first create an account on Superbase Authentication. Select Backend Database, Superbase Authentication, Create Account. We selected email as provider on Superbase. Fill the values with correct widget states. That's it. Now we will create account information for user row. Add another action. Click backend database. Superbase. Insert row. I'm showing you how we can set values for columns. Our last action for this chain will be navigate users to login page. Ok, I will show you to another action for Superbase authentication. Login and logout. They are so simple actions and I am showing you now. I will create an account now. Let's fill the sections. Ok, I am clicking sign up. Perfect. Let's log in. Let's click log out. And this action is working too. Let's check our table on Superbase. As you can see, all data are here. We finished this tutorial and I hope you to find this video as useful.
If you think that, please like the video and please subscribe if you are not already subscribed to the channel. I will continue to make videos about Superbase and make new kind of applications with Flutterflow. By the way, I share exclusive videos for members on my website. You can get access to these videos and support my work. Links are on the description. I will also make a pool for new video design and what to learn, your opinions about new design and generally your ideas about the channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.